Hi there, FB family and friends and YouTube fanatics. Here's your friend again, Melanie, and welcome to my YouTube channel. So, hooray! I've reached my 1,000 subscribers, and thank you so much, FB family and friends and YouTube fanatics, for the support. Okay, so as promised, that I'll be discussing with you the eczema management plan of my kids okay so what have i done differently here at home so i'm gonna start with my oldest daughter because it was a struggle for me you know finding out what's going on with her when she started having rashes on her face when she was some um, three years old when i was breastfeeding her so it was so amazing and i'm so grateful knowing about this you know knowledge and integrated knowledge of the experts of the doctors specialists and the nutritionists as well and you know many of them okay so when cleo turned six months that's when she had the pre-test procedure to find out what are her food allergies or even environmental allergies so that's when I found out that um, she was allergy with with eggs, with citruses or juices, and then as well as raw eggs. So um, when it touches her skin, it will just, you know, she will have, you know, rashes and it will just flare up in red patches. And then when she starts scratching it, and then it will have, you know, big boo-boo. So, yeah. And that's Cleo. And then when she turned eight years, uh, eight months old, that's when I started introducing solids to her or the solid food. And I started studying her food to find out, you know, what other food allergies she has. Yeah, so that's when um when she was um yeah, 8 months old and until now with my other two kids, Chloe and Ronin, I kept on introducing, you know, new food to them to find out what are other food allergies. And with Chloe, she has this um, severe, um, moderate to severe allergy in terms of nuts. So currently, she is under the study of Peppa Tamariki. And it is really good because um, I am able to find out, we are able to find out what are other nuts allergies. And there is only one nut nuts that is you know really good um, for her which is um, hazelnut yeah and then the rest she has uh, mild to severe allergy um severe reactions and then with ronin he has um, moderate to severe reaction in terms of seafoods and it's really really bad for for him and i've called ambulance one um one 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 the first time he ate salmon fish and it was really really bad for him and then with chloe yeah, i rang um, 111 as well three times yeah the first one when she had gastroenteritis she was diagnosed with gastroenteritis yet uh, we did not find out yet during that time that um she had moderate to severe allergy in terms of peanuts and then when she ate sneakers and then um when she had beef stew with peanut butter when we attended a party so uh, i recommend when you attend a party bring some food for your for your son or for your daughter you know that um she or he is not allergy with and um yeah so that's you know that's what i've been doing um since you know since um the last time i rang ambulance for my um son ronin and it's a lesson learned of course 
Okay, so what are other things that I've um, done differently? I keep introducing new food. It's like every week, especially for my youngest. Because I have to find out, you know, what other food allergies um, he has. With um, my girls, it's a no-no for them to have sweets, most especially um, fizzy drinks. And it's not good for them. The coke or carbonated um drinks and they will have really really bad reaction and even you know led to eczema or i mean asthma yeah so what are the um types of allergies that i found out um in this journey of <laughs> managing and controlling eczema of my kids one is food of course and the other one is environmental and finally the chemical so in terms of environmental when the season changes they will have a reaction into it especially when winter comes and then when summer comes oh it's they will have you know really really bad rashes and then sweat or drool so Ronin, he has this um, reaction in terms of um, drooling. When he drools, you know, he will have these red patches on his face, around his mouth. And that's when uh, I started noticing that, oh, he has some um, drool eczema. And then stress is one contributor as well in terms of flaring up or having that eczema. Because I've noticed that one with my um, two girls and their behavior behavior as well changes and um finally dust mites or the dust for my oldest daughter is an you know it's a no-no because -no she will have that red patches and then when she starts scratching it oh, it's gonna be a really really bad um eczema or um, boo boo okay and then the other um type of allergies that i found out the chemical allergy so that's when i started you know doing the trial and error um yeah test for my girls in terms of lotion and cream so i found out only one as in only one brand that is suitable for their skin so which is this one the avino wash during bath and then the lotion after bath and then with Ronin, I only found, you know, this one for his shampoo, a hypoallergenic one, Cetaphil, and then his cream, this one, the prescribed one, prescribes um, cream. And I, I, I actually, okay, coat it with petroleum jelly or the white paraffin first, and then this one, so that you know um it will uh, his skin will be moisturized like for um four to six hours and then in bath so cleo used this utilize this one really really good so in bath this one the pine tarsal when um the boo boo of my kids will become gooey and wet so this one is really really good to keep it dry and yeah itchy free and then in terms of clothing i'm using this one the antiseptic um yeah dental and then so this one is for rinsing and then the for washing i'm using only this sensitive um fur seal yeah it's really good for them otherwise they will have that really really bad um, reaction when i use other powder and another thing that i've done differently is ironing their clothes and it helped it helped a lot in terms of managing and controlling eczema especially when they were a baby but when they started um and when they turned five years old and up and that's when you know i started not ironing their clothes so they can adapt um or they will get immune of the environment all right i think um that's all fb family and friends and youtube fanatics if you have some questions please do so comment down below 
if um you um love sharing as well your experiences um at your home please do so thank you fb family and friends and youtube fanatics